and I know you have a lot of friends and family in this area. What's it like for you coming back for this race every year? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, the last four years being back in Cup, coming back uh, back for the Watkins Glen race, it's just uh, it's fun to you know be a uh, race close to home, and and it means so much to to have so much family there and, and try to try to be successful. So. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun. We've been uh, we've been fast there a lot and getting the win la last year uh, felt extra special, you know, one of the special moments in my career. So uh, makes you want to go do it again. You've had a lot of special moments in your career since we last talked between the win at Watkins and the win at Daytona this year. And, you know, it just so happens, Rudy, I was at both those races. So I okay. think maybe your little hometown love might help. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, we could use it. We haven't. You know, it's been a little while. We've been, been running decent, but we haven't been able to get a win in a little bit. So, yeah, we can use a little luck to, uh, you know, or, or just good mojo on our side, let's say that, to, uh, to get another win in Watkins Glen and uh, playoff time. It's always great to get wins. I mean, and again, this year we're a little later. We're in the, the playoff uh, round, which is different for Watkins. Do you approach that any differently, or is it just full steam ahead like normal? Yeah, I think I think the teams, there's going to be a little bit of a different feel there. There's going to be teams – trying to uh, make sure they get a little bit more points, um, you know, focused. And and sometimes, especially the strategy this year, the stage breaks instead of running through them and getting points. So that's a difference from last year. There'll be a caution like there was previously. So um, there's a chance for strategy to change up. And sometimes the, the best way to win the race is to forego points in those stages. So, um, but for playoff guys that need those points to try to advance, it makes it a tough decision. So, That'll be a little different. Um, and then, uh, you know, definitely just this new tire that everybody's been talking about. Uh, hopefully it's going to create some more fall off and and some more passing um, should be should be a lot to learn on this weekend. There's there's a lot of nuances to that, too, that'll change up the strategy and and make my job uh, stressful and fun all at the same time. Um, definitely uh, it puts the crew chief uh, in the in the game a little bit more. Some races are straightforward and um, whenever the caution comes out, you need a set of tires and. And those are fun too, but um, definitely we get we get our our blend of strategy at, at the road courses. How, how does Watkins sort of stack up on your tracks of what you prefer? Yeah, I, I definitely Watkins Glen's a lot of fun. It's it's really fast. Um, requires a lot of a lot of um, you know you have to put the aerodynamics, the mechanical grip, um, and everything. The driver has to have a lot of a lot of skill and and bravery uh, through those S's and the the bus stop. All those things are are really hard. Um, so we have to have the car ready to go. And, and we like that challenge as a team, you know, putting all those things together. So road courses are, are generally pretty good for us. So um, I, I think it's a good blend, you know, every six or seven, six or seven races a year. So every, uh, you know, it's like a sixth of the schedule, you know, so it's, it's not bad, you know, it's a little bit different right now. We're um, better at the, the mile and a half intermediate tracks or good at road courses. We're working on our short track program. So um, that's kind of the kind of we are how we rank them right now. So because you're in the playoffs <laughs> and because it's sort of your home track, do you have to say like, hey, guys, I can't be as fun and 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 interactive as possible. I really got to focus. Or do you still find some time for uh, for some family fun while you're here? Yeah, it, it'll be a little bit tougher for sure. Um, yeah, just a little bit more focused on what's going on. And um, yeah, it's just everybody's everybody's wicks turned up. and There's a lot more on the line. So. Um, yeah, a lot of people are coming to the race this weekend, a lot of family and friends, but uh, kind of told them up front, it's just kind of depends on how things go and we'll run into each other, but maybe not as as much uh, as much showing them around and, and, and spending as much time because there'll be lots of uh, lots of cr numbers crunching Saturday afternoon to get ready for Sunday. Um, I know most of your life is down south now with your wife and kids, but how often do you make it back up to uh, to Livonia, to our area? And is it just on race weekend or um, kind of what's your life like when you come back here? Yeah, it's, it's um, not, not, not as often as I'd like to, you know, so sometimes during the holidays and the off season, but your off season is so short, you know, sometimes um, you just like to get away where it's warm in the off season. Cause it's, it's uh, usually cold in the uh, Rochester area. So if we could, if we could fix the weather, then we, that would be our destination every year. But, but yes, yeah, so I like to get up there see a lot of family. It's nice to just, uh, go to where you grew up and, and kind of hang out and drive around, see what's changed. And, uh, just makes you, it makes you feel good when you, when you drive around, uh, Western New York, you know, Livingston County is, uh, is a great place to, uh, to grow up and, and remind yourself where, where we came from and all that. So. Um, I am excited that, you know, it's, it's football season. Every time I've come up there, it's it's not been. So I don't know that I've been to a, 
a high school football game in, in 20 some years. So if Friday allows so, I hope to go check out the uh, the Bulldogs playing. Maybe they can sneak out a win. Speaking of football, I read somewhere that you're a Chiefs fan. What is up with that? You grew up so close to Buffalo. I know. I, I just, uh, when I was, I just remember being first or second grade and the Bills were losing those Super Bowls. And I just remember just getting beat down for being a Bills fan for a year or so. And I, I love Joe Montana, even though I was a Bill, like, I liked the Bills. I'd love Joe Montana because he was one of the best. And, and so I just latched on to when he went to the Chiefs and uh, just stuck, stuck with it. But yeah, I kind of, I feel bad once in a while, but I can, I can remember it was a tough time to be a six, seven years old when, when the Super Bowls and the, all those losing, it was, you were, you were getting uh, made fun of quite a bit. <laughs> Same. That was the only time my brother would let me wear his Bills starter jacket to school was the day after all four of the losses. You know, so. <laughs> But I stuck with it because like, yep. here we are. Yep. You know? <laughs> I was a quitter. I was a quitter, I guess.